What's up everybody, my name is Clinton Jones and I am excited to announce my new 3D community challenge. And this time, there's a twist. So just last month, I ran an insane 3D community contest where I challenged CG artists of all skill levels to turn this into anything they could imagine. 2400 of you submitted to create two of the most epic montages the internet has seen. The all renders montage and the top 100 montage, which I live judged with some very special guests. And to top it off, the best five entries won insane prizes from companies whose products I use every day in my 3D workflow. But today I am thrilled to announce our third 3D community challenge. I'm calling it the Dynamic Machines 3D Community Render Challenge. And I'm challenging you to guide a 3D chrome ball from point A to point B. And you create everything else in between. Simple as that. So I'll provide the 3D template and you just worry about creating something awesome. This challenge is open to all 3D artists at any skill level using any program. You have till August 1st, 11.59 p.m. PST. And in the end, I'll combine every result and together we'll form the internet's longest 3D Rube Goldberg contraption. It's gonna be sweet. All right, but look, before we get into the awesome prizes on behalf of NVIDIA and PNY, let's talk about these challenge requirements. Because the only way you're gonna be able to win prizes and have your render seen in the final montages is by following these specific directions. So your render must be 450 frames long. That's frame zero to frame 449. No more, no less. You gotta drop a five centimeter chrome ball with gravity into your contraption via the starting point on frame 113. No sooner, no later. An identical five centimeter chrome ball must completely exit the contraption via the exit port between frames 335 and 340. Again, no sooner, no later. Render a 1080 by 1920 resolution or higher animation. Do not make the mistake of rendering a 1920 by 1080 render. Don't flip it around. Your submission must be an MP4 video file rendered in an H.264 or H.265 codec. Any other codec will run the risk of not being seen. And your render must be 30 frames per second, not 29.97, not 24, exactly 30 frames per second. Now let's talk about some camera settings. Your shutter needs to be set to 1 over 180 for your motion blur settings, or that's 0.005556. No borders or harsh filters that may degrade your render. This includes excessive chromatic aberration, excessive vignetting, and excessive color grading. The camera is locked at a 50 millimeter focal length. Do not change this. The camera animation is also preset. Do not touch this. And camera shake, nah. Don't, e don't even think about it. No on-screen titles, your render simply won't be accepted. Do not resize the border of the play area. You may, however, decorate its appearance. And sound design is highly encouraged. Now, myself and my Discord moderators took a long time creating these challenge rules. They need to be followed very specifically in order to create a high quality, seamless montage. So if y'all can follow these directions, we can create the internet's largest 3D contraption together. So, Let's talk prizes because NVIDIA and PNY are giving out three pieces of hardware to the top three US artists. International artists, don't worry, I got you guys. For third place, PNY is hooking you up with a 500 gig 2.5 inch SATA 3 SSD. This is an easy upgrade from your standard hard drive and ensures your computer and programs boot up a lot faster. Second place is getting a one terabyte M2 NVMe SSD, meaning you'll boot and open apps with read and write speeds up to six and a half gigs. That's pretty darn fast. And finally, if your machine is the best out of all the other machines, then you're getting an NVIDIA Quadro RTX 5000. The Quadro series cards have helped me take my renders to the next level, and I know they will for you as well. A graphics card like this is going to allow you to speed up your creative workflow with more cores, give you more creative freedom with its 16 gigabytes of GPU memory, and allow you to knock out AI-based tasks with ease. And since NVIDIA and PNY can only send prizes to the US artists, I want to sweeten the pot for my international artists. So for first, second, and third place, you'll not only receive one, not two, but three limited edition archival photo prints signed by yours truly as well as top tier access to my Patreon when it drops very, very soon, which gives you guys access to all of my CG assets, 3D packs, project files, and more. So how does one go about winning this challenge? Well, I'm gonna judge it off of a few things. First, the idea. Does your contraption feel unique compared to the other ideas? Does it look and feel like it would actually function? 
Are you using the individual components in a creative and interesting way? And does your contraption have a theme or specific style? And does it just make you say, whoa, that's freaking sweet. Next is visual appeal. Does it look nice? Is it lit well and rendered properly? Do you have a distinct color palette? Are the individual elements of your contraption placed in an artistic way? I'll be looking at animation and clarity as well. Can I track the ball and your machine's function with ease? Does the animation feel natural and have a distinct flow? Does your ball appear to follow the proper laws of gravity? And finally, this contest will be judged on your ability to follow the rules that I previously listed. They're very important to making a seamless montage. So as fellow creatives and passionate CG artists, let's learn and grow together. But at the end of the day, let's just have some fun making some sweet 3D contraptions. So get started right now by clicking the link in the description, which leads to the Dynamic Machines landing page, where you guys can check specific rules and guidelines, info on the prizes, as well as download the starter project files, inside which is the template 3D scene, as well as an, an example render, which you can use to compare your render to, to make sure you are following the rules very specifically. And also there's a link to my Discord server in the description and on the landing page, where you guys can share your work and troubleshoot certain roadblocks with other like-minded artists. To submit your art, I'll be posting a submission link two weeks into this challenge on the landing page and my Discord server. August 1st, 11.59 p.m. PST is the deadline. I will be live streaming my process today at 10.45 a.m. PST. Come join me, let's hang out, let's figure out what we're gonna do together, and I can't wait to see how this turns out. So I'll see you guys soon. Peace.